So while poking around under some rocks here near the water's edge, actually kind of looking for spiders, I got really surprised when I saw this beautiful green color. It's a leopard frog. Uh, there are some wet ones nearby, but I didn't expect to see a leopard frog here today. It's a beautiful little surprise. Leopard frogs are really cool for a lot of reasons. They're also in decline, like most amphibians are. Uh, but this is a very long leaping frog. So if you ever are walking around a wetland or a grassland and you see a big leap that looks like a frog, it's probably a leopard frog. They also tend to wander pretty far from the wetlands that they hang out in. And as you can see, the wetlands that he would normally breed and hang out in are dry right now. So I presume that's why he's come to the edge of this kind of urban stream next to a, next to a dam, actually. But he's a really pretty, he's got that beautiful bright green color down the back, little tiny light outlines to the spots. Uh, they call them little halos around the spots, uh, which is actually kind of a signature identification feature of the northern leopard frog, which this is. And these breed in the spring, so right now he's probably just getting ready to hunker down for the cooler weather that's almost here. And with that, I think we'll go ahead and let him go. Not all leopard frogs have this bright green color. Many are uniformly brown, but they still have those oval-shaped spots on their back. On this individual, you can actually see the light line outlining these spots much better. This American toad has also found shelter under the rocks along this stream. I actually almost missed this one because it was so well dug into the gravel, hidden between the rocks. As usual, fishing spiders are in no short supply under the rocks along the water's edge. This one, like most, is a juvenile. Crayfish and their burrows are also a common sight under these rocks along the water's edge. This one is actually sharing its rock with a fishing spider that I didn't notice until editing the video. Though the trash, graffiti, and nearby road noises are hard to escape from, it's clear there's still a thriving community of wildlife along this river.